I'm Dominic Nowlin, Senior Land Service Officer with the Central West Local Land Service. I'm the Project Manager for the Lachlan River Restoration Project here on the Lachlan River. Riparian area is basically the habitat that uh, borders a, a watercourse or a main flow line. Riparian lands play an important role in addressing water quality within our waterways. They, they act as filters for runoff, nutrient input. They're important with other animals in terms of habitat, particularly birds. They're one of the few remaining corridors that traverse the landscape and allow connectivity to other vegetation. They play a, a role socially as well with people. People have always assimilated recreation with water. Obviously, the Indigenous people had a long connection with the waterways in, in the way they uh, lived in the landscape. In this project, we're undertaking a uh, local Aboriginal mob from Condobolin to assess the uh, sites for uh, Aboriginal cultural heritage. And this process is about engaging with the Aboriginal mob and the landholder and just identifying and raising their awareness as to what are cultural sites or what are their significance. And uh, hopefully that will allow them in future to, to be mindful of that and manage operations around their farm to, to have less of an impact on some of those sites. The ultimate goal of the project is to improve and enhance the riparian habitat within the targeted area. So the elements that we're addressing there include stock access, weed control, grazing, and revegetation and improving diversity of species. One of the tools we use is this direct cedar. As you can see, it's very similar to a, um, a tine on a cedar that a landholder might use. It's a pretty simple operation. There's a uh, spray tank which acts, which sprays chemical to uh, knock down weeds if they're present. And then there's a single tine planting seed in the ground. It's very quick, it's cost effective, and you can cover a lot of country as opposed to more conventional methods like tube stock planting. Yep. One of the landholders who are participating in this project is Gary Johnston. Uh, he's engaged a contractor to come in and remove a weed or a plant called Osage Orange. The benefit once that plant is removed, it opens it up. It allows the opportunity for us to come back in and, uh, and plant native plants and species that can improve the uh, biodiversity of the riparian strip. Gary Johnston, uh, where Walla Walla are, we're 18 k's west of Forbes on the Lachlan River. Uh, we've got 3.2 kilometres of river frontage uh, we've always had an issue along the bank, adjacent to the bank, uh, with wild Osage Orange and we started tackling it and we found it was quite an extensive uh, control program required so uh, I talked to LLS and um, what ended up happening was a program was put in place to support farmers to work collaboratively with government to try and remove it. There's about 13 hectares, I think, here all up that's basically made redundant because it's just covered in uh, Osage Orange. The problem is no animal likes to get near it. It's got spikes on it, nothing grows under it, and it just creates so much uh, trouble with the pods falling on the ground, seed pods and also falling into the river, and then it spreads all up and down the river. Uh, there are a number of different ways of doing it, but we chose a combination of uh, physical removal, uh, some chemical treatment, um, basal bark treatment, and uh, behind me here we can see that happening right now. It was great working with uh, the LLS. The whole process has been um, very streamlined, effective, efficient, so uh, I'm very happy to be able to uh, complete it will take us some time to do it but I found the support offered locally has been fantastic. Mm -hmm.